Today, let's take a closer look at the Smith & Wesson Performance Center Lightweight Bobtail Commander. This four and a quarter inch commander size 1911 is primarily designed for everyday concealed carry. The rounded back strap is often referred to as a bob cut or bobtail. This is a popular 1911 carry modification that helps reduce the pistol's grip profile, making it a little better suited for comfortable concealment. This 1911 uses a scandium alloy frame to reduce weight. Scandium is an alloy additive used quite a bit in the aerospace industry to strengthen high-performance aluminum. It's also the same alloy commonly used in lightweight racing bikes and aluminum baseball bats. Inquiring minds do want to know what they're buying, right? What adding scandium to aluminum actually does is prevent aluminum from cracking when exposed to extremes such as intense heat or high stress shock loadings. And what Smith & Wesson has decided to do with this amazing alloy is make durable lightweight handgun frames out of it. It's great stuff. The action and trigger came from the performance center smooth and tuned. Part of this process includes hand lapping the slide to the frame for a perfect glass smooth fit. The barrel's feed ramp comes hand polished and the chamber's been throated for better feeding reliability. A throated barrel combined with a hand polished feed ramp increases the 1911's reliability considerably. In a carry gun, these are definitely desirable enhancements. Instead of having a standard barrel bushing, this 1911 uses a Briley spherical bushing. A uh, Briley bushing is a proprietary match grade barrel bushing it has a titanium insert pressed inside the main bushing to act as the actual bearing surface. This type of bushing requires hand fitting to the actual barrel they're to be used with. Once fitted, they really shouldn't be used with any other barrel. These Briley barrel bushings are best left to a competent gunsmith for proper fitting. Once fitted, a Briley bushing definitely ekes out every bit of accuracy potential your barrel has to offer. The stainless slide features lightning cuts to further reduce weight. Unloaded, this pistol weighs approximately 29.5 ounces. That's a full three quarters of a pound lighter than a standard 1911, making it a whole lot easier to carry. The slide's also equipped with an oversized heavy duty external extractor, instead of the typical internal style. The cocking serrations are a unique scale pattern and provide a better gripping surface than any other 1911 I've ever come across. The top of the slide has linear anti-glare serrations as does the rear of the slide. The serrations at the rear of the slide are pretty nice custom touch not commonly seen on most 1911s. Out of the box the trigger pull on this pistol measured out at a consistent 3.5 pounds with a very crisp break. The performance center did a great job and I don't see any need for further refinement. This pistol originally came with a set of Bobcut G10 composite grips. They're nice enough, but my wife found them to be a little too aggressive for her taste. And since this is her handgun, she swapped them out for a set of Coca-Cola grips she likes better. She also prefers the much finer checkering on the front and back strap over the coarser checkering on the E-Series Commander for the same reason. Something I'd like to touch on a bit is why you might prefer this Performance Center 1911 over the Smith & Wesson E-Series. Their E-Series 1911s are definitely high quality, but once you've arrived at that price point, why not go ahead and pay just a little more for the hand-fitted refinements a Performance Center pistol has to offer? In the long run, these refinements are going to pay off in better accuracy and dependability. We fired hundreds of rounds through this 1911 and have yet to experience a single failure to feed or eject. Smith & Wesson has taken this classic handgun design and brought it up to date by engineering a handsome, reliable, and accurate lightweight carry pistol you can depend on. For the small difference in price between the E-Series Commander and the Performance Center Commander, you actually do get a lot more gun for the money with the Performance Center Commander. 